Presenting, direct from the 130th edition of The Greatest Show on Earth, can you say circus? Spectacular sights. Where else? The circus. Where will you be taken to hilarious heights? That's right, the circus. Where will you see people flying high in the air? Marvel's so amazing, you'll jump out of your chair. What is so astounding that you're certain to stare everywhere? Hi, I'm Michael James McGowan, the ringmaster for the 130th edition of The Greatest Show on Earth. Can you say circus? Everyone loves the circus, because circus means excitement. Circus means thrills, chills, and more fun than you can imagine anywhere else in the universe. The lights, the costumes, the animals, and the greatest performers on Earth. So get ready. Here we go. Can you say circus? Did you know there are performers in the show from all over the world? Can you say circus? 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 Circus! There's someone in the greatest show on earth who's been saying circus since she spoke her very first words. She grew up in a European circus, surrounded by lots of pets. This is Sara. I was born in the circus and I was raised to respect the animals and to know how far I can go. And my father used to take me around and used to sit me on the elephants and everything. So not every child knows how they should react towards animals. But because I'm seventh generation in the circus, it just was something natural that my parents taught me. Tigers are still very wild, and working with the tigers, you have to know your limits. Down, up, down, down. Banya, banya down. For me, nothing is really dangerous. I'm never really scared when I'm in there. Up, down, down, banya down, Apollo down. The tigers in the greatest show on earth are truly beautiful, and they have wonderful names. That's Vanya jumping over Assam. The others are named Tora, Tibet, Apollo, Jaipur, and Gandhi. Assam, it's okay, good boy. It's all right, good boy. The intensity I have between me and the tigers, um, I mean, it's unbelievable. Every time I go and I can touch them, I just like, it just gives me the shock and I don't know, I just think it's unbelievable that I know I can touch a tiger. Anybody else who passes by, they'll just like jump onto the cages and act completely wild and completely aggressive. And to me, they're just like so sweet and so nice. I'm never really scared when I'm in there. All you need is patience. I mean, we have so much fun together, playing with each other and everything. The trust just builds up through the years. Ladies and gentlemen, the spell-binding Sora! These guys way above the crowd are called the Kiros. They say circus with sheer courage, working 30 feet up without a net. The Kiros are three brothers and a friend, all from Spain. What they do on the high wire is spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Ringling Brothers presents two high wires simultaneously. Twice the artistry and twice the danger. Here are two of the brothers practicing. This is Angel, and this is Roberto. They were really young when they started performing on the high wire. I was 11. My other uh, brother, Vicente, he was 12. 
and, and, uh, when, and I was seven when I started to yeah. in the low wire and I, I was nine when I first time I go up in the high wire. You know, it's very dangerous. Uh, working with iron net, 30 feet high, you know, it's very dangerous. Yeah. We practice every day, so no accidents happen. Practice makes perfect, you know. And, and, and also not, don't think about the height. You'd think the audience watching their every move would make the Kiros nervous, but it doesn't. I think the audience make us uh, powerful, no? Yeah, with audience, it's better. We like to know if we like what we're doing. The harder the club, the better we feel and the better we work. The clowns in The Greatest Show on Earth are some of the greatest clowns on Earth. And Ringling Brothers clowns know how to say circus better than just about anybody. Circus! Can you say cactus? Of all the people in The Greatest Show on Earth, the one who says circus most often is the ringmaster. Come to think of it, I say circus in many different ways during the show. One of the ways the ringmaster says circus is by getting everybody in the audience excited about the show. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Please join me in the cannon countdown. Another thing I do as ringmaster is focus people's attention. There can be more than 100 people on the floor at one time, and sometimes I help the audience pay specific attention to one trick or one person. Do you want to know what skills you would need to be a ringmaster? I'll tell you. To be the ringmaster for the greatest show on earth, you need a big voice. It's the greatest. Bold gestures. The greatest. And a lot of enthusiasm. What you are about to see is a true circus first. <laughs> you don't have to be born with these abilities, but it takes a lot of practice. You don't just learn it all overnight. During the adventure, one hour before the show, the audience gets to meet clowns, animals, and performers, including me. I love being a part of the adventure because it's an opportunity for the audience, and for the kids especially, to get up close and see the performers. I also love the adventure because it gives me a chance to meet kids and feel their enthusiasm for the show. Many of the talented performers in The Greatest Show on Earth thrill audiences with daring routines high above the arena floor. But no one does it more gracefully than this lovely lady. This is Michelle Ayala. She performs 30 feet above the floor, hanging by her hair. Michelle says it feels remarkable to fly through the arena, held up only by her hair. It's a beautiful feeling because you feel like you're flying in the air very high, and it's a lot of pulling, like a very tight ponytail. If you'd have it in for a couple hours, that's probably kind of like what it feels like. I don't braid my own hair. My husband's the one who braids my hair for me for the act because it needs to be tied very securely because it is a very dangerous act since I'm about 25 or 30 feet up in the air. Michelle says that performing while hanging by her hair is something she really likes to do. It's a lot of fun. I love it and I enjoy performing, I enjoy my act because it's very different and a lot of people are very amazed by it and I love when children come up to me and ask me if it's really my hair, if it's a wig and I tell them no it's not a wig, it's 100% my hair. In the greatest show on earth one of the most thrilling acts is the Congress of Rough Riders. 
They do daring and incredible tricks while galloping around the ring at full speed. Do you think elephants can say circus? I know they can. Maybe not in English or French or Chinese, but in the greatest show on earth, elephants say circus by delighting audiences young and old. This year's show features 13 Asian elephants. Adult Asian elephants are about 10 feet high These young elephants are lightweights, just three to four thousand pounds. They're between three and seven years old, and all of them were born under Ringling Brothers Conservation Program as part of our commitment to preserve and protect this endangered species. Did you know that elephants are not just the biggest animals in the greatest show on Earth? They're the largest living land mammals on the entire planet. Elephants are very, very smart. They understand a lot of words, so their trainers can give them commands. They also remember the routines they've learned, and they love performing in front of audiences. Did you know that you can visit the greatest show on earth anytime you want? You don't have to wait for the circus to come to town. All you have to do is use your computer and click on ringling.com. Here, you can make a clown, play games, learn circus facts, get downloads, and much more. Drop in anytime at ringling.com. Some performers in the greatest show on earth say circus with every move they make as you're about to see. When Anton Belyakov twists and turns in midair, it seems effortless. But making it look easy took him years of hard work. Anton was born to a Russian circus family. By the time he was five, Anton was in the circus too. At 13, he began working on the straps. He's been perfecting this very act for the last eight years. To build his strength and prepare for the strap act, Anton practices on rings. You need the strength for that act, but mostly it's a technique. I mean, if you're using the right technique, you don't need to, you, to use so much you know, body strength. Some of Anton's moves look a lot like gymnastics, but he didn't learn gymnastics when he was a kid. I didn't do gymnastics, but I took ballet class. It helps you to control your body. You do all the tricks clean. When he's high above the ground, Anton often thinks of Icarus, a mythical person who soared through the air with his father. Icarus and his dad create wings, and then they fly over the sea, and Icarus come up too close to the sun. He burned his wings and he fell down. Did you ever wonder how a show as spectacular as the greatest show on earth can come to a new city and an empty arena, then set up the three rings and the trapeze and all the lights and everything? To learn how it's done, I'd like to introduce you to someone who really knows. 
He's the man in charge. Jeff, how do you get it all set up? The greatest show on earth plays to over 50 cities each and every year. It takes 120 men and women between 12 and 14 hours to be ready for the first performance. But we're going to show it to you in 30 seconds. It's the greatest, the Can you say circus in black and white? I know someone who can, and he's terrific at it. Just watch it. This is Hans Suppmeyer. In The Greatest Show on Earth, Hans works with the most beautiful black horses and white horses you've ever seen. I have four black horses, big black horses, then I have four white Arabian horses, and then I have the four zebras. Zebras? Oh, I forgot to mention the zebras. They're also black and white, of course. All these zebras I have now, they're all new. They were uh, eight months old when I got them. And uh, it takes a lot of time till the zebras are trusting people. What I learned is that when you have enough patience and animals start to trust you, they will do everything for you. That's a big difference between horses and zebras. The zebras are still very wild and the horses are domesticated animals, so they are much calmer. When you see Hans with a whip in his hand, you might wonder what he uses it for. We don't use it to whip the horses, it's only to uh, give him cues. This is more or less like a conductor with his baton when he's showing his orchestra what to do. And so the same thing I do with the horses. Hans says his animals love performing in the show. I think the animals, they enjoy it because each time when they have to come to work, they want to go out of their stalls and they want to come into the ring. So they're definitely having fun. You can see his ears, the ears going forward. When you see the ears are forward, then they're happy. One of my favorite acts in the whole show is the famous clown car and the way those hilarious Ringling Brothers clowns keep coming out. <laughs> Let's watch them all come out. There are so many of them. How do they fit so many in the car? I shrink to feet. It's easy. In fact, there'd be a lot more room if we took the bathtub out. <laughs> like this, or like that. Glove compartment. We do it all with mirrors, and I look great in this. We're not actually in the car. There's a hole in the floor. Someone said there's a hole in the bottom of the car. Is there? <laughs> no, there's not actually a hole underneath the clown. Uh, <laughs> Good boy, get out of here. Oh, thank you. Anyway, there's not a hole underneath the clown car. Everybody's actually in there. Okay, they don't come up through a trap door. So how do they do it? We can't tell you how we get in the clown car because it, it would ruin some of the magic for you. It's, uh, it's, what, what are you guys doing? Oh, would you guys get out of here? Sorry about that, as I was saying, it, it's part of the magic of the circus that you don't know how all those clowns actually get into the car. A stupendous way to say circus is to fly across the arena doing somersaults in midair. Here are some talented performers who can do just that, and it'll take your breath away to watch them. These are the Flying Tabares, masters of the trapeze.
You're about to meet someone who can say circus in some truly amazing ways. One of the ways is with his unbelievable sense of balance. This is John Weiss, and that's his pal, Mishu, who's only 33 inches high. That earns Mishu the title, the smallest man on earth. Guess what happened when John spotted one of our cameras pointed at him? That's right, he balanced it on his nose, and the camera was still running. I have a natural talent to balance things. I started out when I was about 12 with the family rake, and then when we went to the grocery store, supermarkets, I would balance the shopping carts, school, it would be the cafeteria tables. To this day, I can't believe I used to do stuff like that. Here's another sensational way that John can say circus. Watch this. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! That is beyond awesome. Do you want to see it again? Let's rewind. Incredible! It would not be fun if John missed the net, so he's extra careful about safety. He had this cannon built especially for him and packed it with safety features. Safety, that's the question. How do I stay safe? Come on over here. What I want to do is check the temperature and the humidity to see how far I fly out of the cannon. The arrow tells me the angle of the barrel is just right for the flight. Very important. Okay, right here, we have the on and off switch. Right here, we also have the trigger. This is for safety, so no one pushes the wrong button. Fire! Fire! John is the only performer in this show who says circus while traveling at more than 60 miles an hour, and he loves doing it. What a blast, I'll tell you. It's like being on the fastest roller coaster you've ever been on, but four times the force. Think of that, it's great. I hope you've enjoyed this special presentation of the greatest show on earth. I'm Michael James McGowan, and until we meet again, may all your days be circus days.